What's up, Totally Inspired community? Welcome to another episode of Totally Inspired with me, your girl, Sibo Dube. Before we get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button and give me a huge thumbs up. On Sunday, 26 December, news of the passing of Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu hit global headlines. A Nobel Peace Laureate and ranked amongst global leaders of African origin such as Nelson Mandela, Tutu is wildly held for playing a key role in dismantling apartheid in South Africa and chairing the nation's Truth and Reconciliation Committee. Leaders around the world are remembering the Archbishop for his pursuit of racial justice and equality as well as his unforgettable sense of humor. In his relentless work, the Arch never forgot to give due credit to his dear wife of 66 years for all that he was able to achieve in his lifetime. Just who is Mrs. Tutu? She was born Nomali Zolia Shengane on 14 October 1933 in Krugersdorp, South Africa. She married Desmond Tutu on 2 July 1955 and they had four children. Nomalizo supported her husband in his anti-apartheid efforts and the duo actively advocated for human rights in the country together. They renewed their marriage vows in 2015 in Orlando, Soweto. Tutu has often paid tribute to his wife both sincerely and with humor for her support while bringing up their children during the anti-apartheid struggle where they endured political pressures. He credits her for ensuring his humility. Leah has been very good at keeping my head the right size, he previously told Times Media. Once I was driving and when I looked at her, she looked slightly more complacent and self-satisfied than usual. When I wondered why, she showed me this bumper sticker that said, any woman who wants to be equal to a man has no ambition. The other day, she stuck a notice just beneath the television set in our bedroom that said, you are entitled to your wrong opinion. When asked about the secret to staying in love over many decades back in 2011, Leah Tutu had this to say, there is no magic to making marriage work. A marriage is never made in heaven, you make it what it is. If you love a person, it's simply not enough. You must meet halfway, give and take for the rest of your lives. She recalled how she had met him when he was stubborn headmaster's son, who ignored her as a young girl and whom she chased in their college years, telling the times. I still think he's very good looking. We greet each other every morning and night with a kiss. Leah Tutu is both a teacher and nurse by profession. She co-founded the South African Domestic Workers Association. She was the director of the Domestic Workers and Employers Project of the South African Institute of Race Relations from 1976 to 1984. The Desmond and Leah Tutu legacy have described Leah as the Archbishop's great enabler who has been brightening his life since her school days and throughout their marriage. She provided the comforting sanctuary of a family home, took jobs to augment income in tough times, and famously completed a mechanics course so she could do running repairs on the car, leaving him to travel in peace. The couple lived together at a retirement facility right outside Cape Town. Archbishop Desmond Tutu was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 1997 and underwent repeated treatment until his passing. We send our love and condolences to Mama Leah Tutu and the entire Tutu family on their loss. Do you have a message or comment you would like to convey on this story? Please comment down below and remember to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, keep inspiring.